This glitchy offense out of the Jaguars playbook is the perfect scheme for players who want to drive their opponents crazy with one of the most unique formations in all of Madden. This scheme is out of the gun double stack formation, and today we're going to be looking at how we can take advantage of having wide receiver stacks on both sides of the field to create space advantages both over the middle and to the outside. And if you guys end up liking this scheme, I just dropped an ebook for this offense with a ton of extra setups, video tutorials breaking down every play, detailed diagrams of the read progressions, and a PDF download so you can keep these setups forever, and you can find it along with all my other ebooks over at sprucegoose.gg. Today we are taking on the Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs in what could be an early preview of the 2024 AFC Championship game. We started on defense in nickel over, and my opponent began the game with the consistently effective strategy of throwing straight at my user, which resulted in a completion to tight end Noah Gray for five yards. My opponent did have a few solid third down completions on this drive, first when he hit Juju Smith-Schuster on the curl route for 13 yards, and then again when he hit Juju over the middle for another 13 yards. The defense finally stepped up though, and on third down, my opponent overthrew a deep ball into double coverage, and on fourth down, the pass rush was able to hit Mahomes in the pocket to force the turnover on downs. Now it was our turn to play offense, and I I started off the game with one of my favorite plays of the scheme, which is RPO read FL screen. Before the snap, we have to read the read key defender, and in this case, because he crashed inside, I kept the ball with Trevor Lawrence and took off up the middle for a 15-yard gain before sliding down to avoid getting hit. Next, I went with the play stack out, and the only adjustment here was to put the back receiver of my left stack on a streak. After the snap, the streak pulled the cornerback in the outside quarter deep, and I was able to hit the corner route along the sidelines to get us down to the 16 yard line. On first down, I went with the play curl flat and my only adjustment was to put the back receiver of the right stack on a zig route and with nobody guarding the flat, I was able to hit Zay Jones on the zig route for an easy seven yards. Then I went back to RPO read FL screen and with the read key once again crashing in, I kept the ball with T-Law and with his beautiful blonde locks flowing in the wind, he leapt into the end zone for the first score of the game. On his next drive, my opponent started off trying to attack the flats, first hitting Juju on the right side for 4 yards, and then hitting Miko Hardman on the left side for 10 yards. Then I finally started clamping down, and on 2nd and 10, edge rusher Josh Allen completely dominated the right tackle and got into the backfield to sack Mahomes, and then on 3rd down, we played perfect coverage with our cover 4 defense to keep anything from getting open before our pass rush got in there once again. Then on 4th and 17, we sent the heat out of nickel over for a nearly instant sack, and just like that, we were back on offense. To start my drive, I went back to the play curl flat and once again put a zig route on my receiver under the deep curl. After the snap, it turned out to be man coverage and the curl route here is excellent for beating man coverage as long as you throw it right after the break. That's exactly what I did and Marvin Jones Jr. hauled in the catch for a 9 yard gain. On 2nd and 1, I went with RPO trap alert screen and for whatever reason, the geniuses on my offensive line decided to run into each other and instead of blocking defensive tackle Chris Jones, they let him come in unblocked to bring Travis Etienne down for no game. Needing a guaranteed yard on third down, I went back to our money play, RPO read FL screen. With my opponent refusing to change his option defense to conservative, I took off with Trevor Lawrence once again into the open space, cut inside one defender, and threw on a spin move to make a second defender miss, and supermaned into the end zone for T-Law's second rushing touchdown of the game. With a minute left in the half, my opponent went to gun empty, and that's when we got to do my favorite thing out of nickel normal, which is blitz the hell out of him. And while my opponent did adjust fairly well and completed some passes to get to midfield, our cover four defense was too much for him, and we kept the Chiefs scoreless as we headed into halftime. In the second half, I was having too much fun to not run RPO read FL screen again, and we started off the drive with another 16 yards on the ground for Trevor Lawrence. Next, I called smash, and my favorite way to use this play is to immediately throw to the back receiver of the left stack. Even though he's on a C route, out, if you throw it fast enough, it functions essentially as a kind of slant seam hybrid, and it worked perfectly here for a 9-yard pickup. On 2nd down,
down, I tried running halfback screen, but got hit on the throw. So on third and inches, I went back to curl flat and hit Christian Kirk underneath on the zig for the easy conversion. On first down, my opponent had finally switched to option defense conservative. So with the read key staying home, I handed it off to Travis Etienne and patiently stayed behind my blockers to take it up the middle for an 11 yard gain. On first down, I went back to stack out, once again putting the back receiver on a streak on the same side as the corner route. And despite Evan Ingram getting wide open, I guess his shoes were a little too big because he was ruled out of bounds for an incompletion. Going with curl flat once again, Zay Jones got wide open on the zig route, but Trevor Lawrence put the ball behind him, which prevented him from getting any yards after the catch. On third down, I went back to smash and hit the easy quick throw to Christian Kirk, which got us down to the 11 yard line. On first and 10, I once again called RPO read FL screen and the handoff to Travis Etienne had him rumbling up the middle untouched into the end zone to give us a three touchdown lead. My opponent didn't give up though and late in the third quarter he was going to see if he could put together a miracle comeback. On third and one he went back to the tried and true method of throwing at covered players when my linebacker decided to literally stop and watch Travis Kelsey bring in this 11 yard catch to convert the first down but then a few plays later when Kelsey was actually open the pass just completely missed. But we'll happily take that gift from EA and on fourth down I sat with my user right in the middle of the passing lane and my opponent gave it right to me for another takeaway. I decided to keep doing what was working so once again I called curl flat with a zig route and once again my opponent left Christian Kirk wide open in the flat and with a little bit of stick work after the catch we were able to pick up 17 yards on the play. Then it was right back to RPO read FL screen and this time there was an absolutely massive hole up the middle and ETN was able to take it for a pickup of eight yards. Then I went back to RPO trap alert screen and for one of the few times all game our offensive line was completely out muscled so it resulted in no yards. On third down I once again went with curl flat and since my opponent wasn't going to guard the zig in the flat I was going to keep hitting it. Another rep of RPO read FL screen got us another nine yards and then on second and inches I went back to the play smash. After the snap I tried throwing to Christian Kirk who was wide open on his C route but apparently the game didn't register the button press so instead I had to dump it down to Travis Etienne on the delayed curl route. A sack on first down brought us to the 14 yard line but on second down I went back to smash this time putting Travis Etienne on a streak to attack the cover two shell my opponent had been playing. Sure enough the streak got into the soft spot between the safeties and with a pass lead to the inside the ball got there just in time for Etienne to haul in the touchdown to cap off a nearly perfect day on both sides of the ball. As icing on the cake we were able to get the ball back with a few seconds left in the game and on the final play Trevor Lawrence delivered an absolutely perfect beam to Evan Ingram on the corner route to make it a final score of 34 to 0. Trevor Lawrence had an absolutely bonkers day on the stat sheet completing 13 of his 16 passing attempts for 150 yards and two touchdowns and also led the team in rushing by taking it himself six times for 93 yards and another two touchdowns. And on the receiving side Christian Kirk led the way with a solid day by hauling in five catches for 54 yards. So if you want a scheme that can rack up eye-popping stats for your quarterback both on the ground and through the air then gun double stack out of the Jaguars playbook just may be the scheme for you. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video for another scheme breakdown.